I said, you can turn the camera if you want. No, it's okay. It's a choppy. <laughs> <laughs> I did not want to hear my voice. All right, Hope, see if you can share your screen and show me the um, lesson number five that you did, or exercise number five, or, okay. how, or Hava can do it. How do you share your screen? Uh, what, what you do is you take the mouse and you, if you hover it around on the far left, there's like an aqua button with a white arrow in it. Yep, I saw. Um, present to. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> wait, let me go to. Oh, wow, that is really. Let me go to Sublime. Oh, 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 I have to go to like my folder or whatever and open stuff. Okay. Um, what was lesson five? That was creating variables. What do I open if I want to see it in the Sublime thing? Or where do you want to see it? Like in the terminal? Yeah, like first open it up in Sublime and then run it. Or actually, I can just open it in my terminal like this. Okay, um, okay so. Blah, 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 blah. And then. Um, wait, is this the right one? No, it's not. Wait, how do I. Oh, yeah, I can like run it by. Um, what was it called again? Creating variables? There we go. Ah. Do you, you, you haven't really encountered any trouble, huh, so far? No. Well, the only trouble we encountered, it was like, Hava was doing it. She kept encountering <laughs> an error, but then she realized she just didn't save it in her sublime thing. So, yeah, that was fixed up. So, yeah, so far we've been um fine. Okay. Very tedious to... Like with all those weird spaces and like to type all that stuff in, but um, yeah. yeah. I mean, on on the one hand, you can cut and paste stuff, but on the other hand, it's nice to like get used to typing. Yeah, like in real life, you don't cut and paste anything pretty much. Well, you don't. You just do a lot of typing. Cool. Oh. Hey, Jeremiah. Hey, bro. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't know I had my volume on. Are you at work? I'm just now leaving. <laughs> All right. Should I stop? Um, should I X out of the chat or should I change? No. Why don't you? Why don't we do like number six together? Or oh, I just hit something. Oh. That's okay. So open up like um, that thingy. Yeah. Open up. Mathematics. So. so should I keep sharing the screen? Yeah. Open up Sublime. Let's jump into number six. Okay. These first 10 lessons are pretty basic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I know like... Or maybe, hmm. Hey, help you, maybe don't, don't do it yet. Let's see here. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll I'll just do it in front. Of, maybe I'll do it in front of you, and then you can just do it later on your own time. All right. So let's um, this here. So you can. Stop we, sharing. Um. Oh, I see myself on yours. <laughs> yeah, here I'll share. I'll share my screen. Okay. If you don't have to endure that. Let's see here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. What is the uh, problem we're trying to solve? Oh, they they already went through all the exercises, so I'm just going to look at the next one. So it's not it's more just like um, going through one of these exercises. It's exercise number six. All right. So let's look at it. Okay, so I'm just going to um, make the file real quick. What, what's it supposed to be called? Um, math operations. And you have to... Hey, Jeremiah, why do you have to give it the exact name? Why does your class have to have the exact name? Why? What do you mean? Well, like... When you... Well, like, okay, your, your file has to be the class. It just That's just the way it works. Is just, that what you're saying? Yeah. 
like you're like if you can call main dot java you your class has to be main is that what you're talking about yes I, i'm not sure why that's just yeah all right that's just java because so like if there's a class called math operations i have to call it math operations dot java yes all right You know what the worst thing about this guy's website is? Is he has line numbers on his examples, so you can't cut and paste without getting the line numbers. Yeah, like I tried copying and pasting the first like level or whatever, and uh, oh, no, no, no. and then um, like I couldn't, it just messed everything up. Yeah, I don't like that. That's good though. I mean, you're not supposed to. I don't know. There's yeah. benefits because then you got to get used to typing that public static void uh, main string arg stuff mm -hmm. out. That's yeah, it's for me, but I didn't like it. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's just leave it there. Okay, and then to run it, oops, what was it complaining about? System dot. Oh, yeah, oh, it's, no. it's got a linter in here. That's pretty cool. Okay, let me put this in the Emacs. Oh, using Vim for Java. I've never done that. Oh, really? Uh, what yeah, I've never. <laughs> oh, you're eating something. <laughs> <laughs> Java code. Java code camp. Is this where it is? No. Yep. Okay. Sorry about that. So when you want to run it, Jeremiah, tell them what happens when you compile it, right? Like low level, what happens? Yeah, so like when we or type what? when we type Java C, you're compiling it, and then you end up with this thing called math operations dot class. Hold up one second. Let me park I mean, real quick. I'm, I'm I'm pulling up to somewhere. Oh my! I didn't know that. Sorry. Yeah. I. So like when you run, what happens when you run your code? It gets compiled to. It goes through this thing called the JVM. And uh, the JVM compiles it to bytecode uh, to where your computer can read it. Oh. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. So that's what the .java file is. So you can tell if it's been compiled if there's the .class is like what you type in, and then the .java is the bytecode that actually is getting executed. Wait, okay. I'm get it. Have a still here. All right. So based on hope, oh, based on what you see here. Yeah. You see how this line is like, we're just printing out the value of A and B? Yeah. Hey, what happened to you? Did you run off? <laughs> I can't even hear it. Hey, abandonment. Yeah. You need to look at the screen. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, yeah, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> Cereal and software don't mix very well. It's angel food cake with milk in it. Okay. Well, okay, so up here, Hope, you have, or Hava, you have all these variables, right? Yeah. You're declaring them, and they're all integer type, A through G. So yeah. how, how do you think I would assign the, the sum of A and B to C? Assign? Mm hmm Like, I want to make C what... A plus B is. Would you, would you just do like 
plus Yeah. Just like that, right? Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. And then to see if we're if we did that right, we can print it out. Oh, that's what print lane is. Print line just prints out. <laughs> I pronounce it like lane. I don't know. Print lane. Yep. So over here, I can run this thing. <laughs> run it. You see, did you see it run over there on the right? Yes. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. How is your thing like split into two screens? Oh, that's just something that I can do and you can't because I'm... <laughs> <laughs> it just makes it easy to edit it and like you can edit it and run it without needing to go anywhere. But then why... why? Why can't we do that? You can. I'll show you how if you want. Yeah. Because I like to see I can jump back and forth. Yay. Yeah, it's fun. Okay, so what about what about making D um, A minus B? How do we do that? Um, Think see. hard. Think real hard. Wait, wait. Make A. Wait, wait, wait. Repeat your question. What if we want to make D the value of A minus B? You know, we have this variable D up here. D equals A plus negative B. Uh, let's try that. No, it's just gonna make it not work. It's gonna make it make independent. <laughs> I mean, that's technically correct, or technically correct. Yeah. But I don't think it's gonna work. But let's see here. D is D. All right, let's run it. Ah, oh, we can't do that. It's already complaining. You know what happened. Yeah, you don't have to do a plus. You you forgot your uh, col you forgot your uh, semicolon. Oh, so maybe it would work. Let's run it. It actually worked. <laughs> That's but hope isn't a an easier way to do a minus b just to do a minus b. Well, I th I was gonna say that and then that just sounded too easy. I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna delete that one. We'll we'll stick with the vanilla version. All right. Okay, so now over here we've got. Every time we run, that's what we got so far. Plus and minus. Okay, what if you want to multiply the two numbers together? All right. Okay. So we'll do E. I'm getting some weird feedback, though. Who is that? What's that noise? I don't know. It's Jeremiah. I muted him. Sorry, Jeremiah. Your your mic's doing no, some mic. weird oh, stuff. Oh yeah, I just muted myself. I didn't know it was me. Sorry, I, I'll mute myself. Okay. Okay. So, what do you think, Hope? Like this? Um, I feel like that would not work because I feel like X is like gonna be something else. But yeah, we can try it. Yep. X is a letter. For sure, that won't work. So in in almost every computer language, the way they represent multiplication is with an asterisk, like that. Oh, I should. All right. So let me fix this. Wait, Dad, Vivi just said, texted me and said, what's all this about the code thing? And I was like, there's a session going on, join it. And I was like, actually, maybe you shouldn't until you like do the stuff in Java code camp. Well, she, she can drop in. It's not going to hurt her. Yeah. Or I can be like, wait, I'll just say. Just make sure she has earbuds and... She said, okay, I'll join next time, which is like Thursday. And then she'll probably have like more stuff ready. That's fine. Okay, but she can join now if she wants to. She might enjoy it. It's okay. I mean, we're not doing anything that hard. Yeah. All right. Here, should I tell her? Yeah, just tell her. All right. Wait, what's the... I don't because like she's not even in the Slack thing yet. I guess I'll we'll just copy the link. Just give her the hangout link. Tinyurl.com slash Phil's hangout. Yep. Man, this is just a sick 
All right. So. All right, so we've covered um, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and what do you think's left? Division. Division. All right, so let's try that. Whoops. What do you think the symbol for division is? The dividing sign? Oh, wait. No, it's the um, slash. slash. Yeah, the slash. No, slash is too common. Well, what's the dividing sign? I don't even know if there is one. Yeah, I forgot there's not one on, like, on a regular keyboard. Um, it's a slash. I guess it'd be a slash, but I feel like we use... All right. Oh. Instead of... I'm going to put this. Instead of all this stuff, I'm going to say A plus B. And here we'll do A oh, minus... Man. Oh, wait. No, no, no. That's wrong. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> uh, okay. One second, I made a little bit of a mess. I told you. No, it's just a stupid hobby when you laugh and like blow the milk out. <laughs> Slash work? Um, yeah, kind of. Well, let's let's talk about the first one first. No, you can't do that. You can't do that. You don't sour the milk. You don't curl it. Oh. What's she doing? She put lemon inside her milk. In her bowl? In the cup. She, she has milk in the cup. She put lemon juice in the cup of milk. Well... Hardly a cup of milk. There's like an inch in there. It's gonna curdle the milk. How is how long? Disgusting. A few minutes. Do what you want. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Okay. Um, <laughs> hold on one second here. Oh no! What happened? Mom wants to know where to meet me. Okay, hold on one. Second. So let's look at what's going on here. Oh, so it is just a slash. Yeah, it's just a slash, but... Um, wait, wait, wait. Where do you use math operations, and like, why do you even need to divide things? In, in writing software? Well... Or add them or subtract them. Yeah, I mean, what if you want to know... What if you have, you know, a thousand pounds of rice, and you, every person's going to take seven pounds, and you know, you know whatever, you... You need to know stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, uh, dog. Oh, man, that's right. No. Hey, can you, can you get her to stop? I'll use force. Right in. No more stretches. We're almost done. I just want to do a couple more things. All right. All right. Okay, so the first is, is like, let's see here.
Oh, that's why. Okay. Explain, see on line 18, where we're saying E is equal to A plus B times three? Yes, mm -hmm. it's 270. Well, actually it's not. Let's look at it. 91. Okay, I just want you to explain why is it 91? Why, okay. is it, why isn't it... Um, you do B times three first, and then you add A to it, right? Wait, but we don't know. What, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, why? right. Okay, it's just. You, do you know about things like order of operations? Oh, yeah. sorry. I thought I. I didn't even realize that you gave us the variables of A and B. I was just like, man, like we don't know two variables. How are you? How is how am I figuring that out? Anyway, now I see A is ten and B is twenty. But you know, like, like order of operations means yeah. multiplication happens before the addition happens. Yep. Okay. So that's the same as doing this. And so like when you're writing equations out, like you don't need to do this because it's going to happen automatically. Does that make sense? Yeah. But I would do it anyway just to make it clear. But if like we run this again, it's still going to be 91. Mm -hmm. But if you changed it to be like this, that would change it, right? Yeah. So this is 111. So it's different. Anyway, put it back the way it was. Okay, so now I want to talk about um, this last one. Okay, so this is a dividing one. So F, we're going to do B divided by 2. Okay, so what do you think B divided by 2 is? Um... 14.5. No. 13.5. Alright, let's let's find out. Uh -uh. What? Okay, so this is the, the reason for this is is that see at the on line three, B is of what type? Um integer. Oh. So you gotta be careful sometimes because you're assigning the result of this division to an integer, so it's just going to round to the nearest one possible. Mm -hmm. So you could get like an inaccurate answer. But check this out, like if we say that, uh, like what's a way to get a little, a little bit more precise answer is we would assign it to like x. You see this? Yeah. And what do you think this will be? Um, 13. Well, because x is a, what's called a double, which means it's like a, it can hold a oh. decimal. Oh, 13.5 then. Hey, that's, that's odd. Wait a minute. Hey, Jeremiah. Is he gone? Oh, I'm here. Hey, what's up with... Is that, is this a, um, does the slash operator not do floating point division? Like B is, 20, B is 27. No, you're, you're casting, that's why. I don't think it does auto casting. Oh, it doesn't do auto casting? Well, try to make, do, put, put uh, Y equals 13.0 and then do Y divided by 2. Try that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Things you take for granted in Ruby, huh? The things you take for granted in Ruby. I tell you, it's so hard to unlearn it. Okay, we're going to cover one more operator and then we'll be done, okay? Okay. Um, okay. And that's this operator called 
It is called the uh, mo modulus. Mo modulus. Modulus. <laughs> yeah. Modulus. All right. So, like, we'll just print it out. Just make it easier. Okay. I'll just say uh, G is equal to okay ten. Have you ever heard of the modulus operator? <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you sure? Okay, modulus is like this, is like, how many times does four go into 10? Uh, twice. Twice. But then there's a remainder, right? Yeah. What's the remainder? Two. Two. So the modulus will do that. If you say like 10 modulus four, it'll give you the remainder. See, so like, what's what do you think 10 mod modulus 5 is? Zero. It's zero. Yep, you're right. And what's 10 modulus 3? Um, one. You're just too smart. And what's 10 modulus 7? Three? Yeah. Okay. So these are like the basic math operators. There's a few more, but... Um, of course... Someone's going to turn the vacuum on. <laughs> Mommy, he was talking to you. <laughs> uh, all right. I tell you, these exercises do not get hard for a while. Well, that's good. Yeah, you guys could bl probably blast through the next five really easily. Hmm. Well, we'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> <Probably. laughs> all right. Okay. So we'll just stop here. All right. That was awesome. Thank you. Yeah.